man we have a couple of dope news items for this video we even have an unboxing at the end That's right. What's up? Hello, All right. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing before we get started give the video a thumbs up thumbs up like 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 we have a couple of dope 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 news items for this video but the first thing we need to talk about is march is done Today is the 28th and April is right around the corner. If you have a next gen console, specifically PlayStation 5, let's look at the lit, lit, lit PlayStation 5 games for April to start off this video. And the first game I recommend if you have a PlayStation 5, even on Xbox, it's on Game Pass, Outriders. Outriders officially launches on April 1st and loving the demo. I've already mentioned it. This is the game that's actually keeping me away from Monster Hunter Rise. That's how good this game is, how much I'm enjoying this game. So it's a surprise sleeper hit from nowhere for me. And so Outriders, Outriders made by um, the same developers of the Gears of War franchise. You, you could feel it but a lot of cool added elements fingers crossed i hope they add a pvp mode in this game but outriders comes out april 1st great game to start off your april the next game and i almost completely forgot about this game odd world soul storm comes out on the playstation 5 April 6th and free if you have PlayStation Plus. Now, people have been talking about Game Pass, have had their big AAA games um, day and date at launch. I mean, we haven't really had, Xbox really haven't had any this generation yet. But Halo Infinite will be day and date at launch on Game Pass. But Sony has had lesser titles. I would say b grade titles um bug snacks was free for playstation plus members destruction all stars was free for playstation plus members and now this game odd world soul storm because this is going to be free on april 6th i will be checking with their playstation plus membership i will at least give this game a look and so April 6th, Odd World Soulstorm never was really on my radar, but it's with PlayStation Plus, so it's worth a check out. This next game is historic. MLB The Show. I'm going to rewind to the beginning of this trailer, and you tell me what do you notice. Did y'all just see that? Let me rewind that again so y'all can see how historic this is. This is an Xbox trailer, and the very next logo after the Xbox logo you see is PlayStation Studios. That's right, a former PlayStation exclusive is, will also be on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, MLB The Show. I am so tempted to get this game just to try it out, but I've never been a big baseball fan, baseball dude. So I don't know if I, if I get this. I don't think I'll be playing it too often. But MLB The Show 21 launches, launches, launches on April 20th and will be for the first time a multi-platform release. This is the best AAA baseball simulation type game. So if you're a fan of baseball, there you go. And it's a multi-plat 
you can't beat that with a baseball bat. So, hey, Sony put in some of their exclusives on Xbox. Well, this one. Them Bethesda games. <laughs> a couple of those Bethesda games probably be on PS5. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But to end out April and probably the game I am most hyped no, I'm still probably a little bit more hyped for Outriders. But Returnal, Returnal comes out April 30th. And this game looks amazing, bro. I say that all the time I see this game. It looks like a third-person Metroid game. She's, she's, check out the story. She sent crash lands on an alien planet due to a, a mysterious signal coming from this alien planet, just like a Metroid story arc. And it's a female protagonist. She has on a visor suit. They definitely got inspiration from Metroid Prime with this game. Either way, I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to play this game. It looks dope. It looks amazing. So Returnal, is, this is going to be a PS5 exclusive only coming to the playstation 5 a true exclusive um and the game looks dope triple a type quality game day one day one by returnal at the end of the month and a bonus game even though this is in may it's at the beginning of may so it sort of blends in resident evil village comes out may 7th I probably passed on this game. Never been a fan of Resident Evil games, but uh, the game does look cool. Now, talking about PlayStation 5 games, you first need to get a console in order to play the games and check out this news item. Coming from GameSpot, the article is titled, Global Chip Shortage is Reaching a Crisis Point as PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X remain difficult to find. And according to this article, the chip shortage is likely to continue for a while longer now that it's re reached a crisis level. For those of you that don't know, one of the reasons why the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X is in short supply, there's a global semiconductor chip shortage globally and it's directly affecting the production of these consoles. But it's not just Sony and Xbox competing for this, but these same chips are in cars and different devices that we use every day. And so there's global competition to try to get uh, these chips into devices. And according to this article, it's now at a crisis level. So I said this before, I say it again. Whenever you see a PlayStation 5 available and you don't have one, don't say, oh, I'll probably just wait next week or two weeks on the next shipment. Get it while you can, bro. All right. Last thing for this video. We got the Monster Hunter Rise Pro Controller. Man, I should have, I should have brought all my Pro Controllers in for this video. I have every single Pro Controller that's ever been released officially licensed by nintendo go and check out my uh, obi-wan plays game room tour it's all there bro it's all there uh here it is box art is dope of course we're going to keep the box for the game room and inside you have something that holds it you have a charge cable and the controller let's check it out let's look at it for the first time and it looks clean 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 here it is the monster hunter pro controller and it feels good looks good feels good looks good feels great so monster hunter rise game just launched on the switch i probably still would be playing it that with outriders but I'm liking this Pro Controller. I'm going to give this Pro Controller a spin today. I don't know what I'm... I'm, I'm going to play something on the Switch today. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? 
Uh, do you have a pro controller, Monster Hunter Rise, the game? What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta pick you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces. <laughs>